Right, here's a quick video demoing the OctaSwitch 3. Some people seem confused about using the effects loop of your amp. Well, that's what I'm doing. My guitar goes into this tuner, the polytune, then goes into the OctaSwitch. Then you have to set your pedals up in order of signal flow. So I've got a fuzz and then a tube screamer loop number three is not being used at the moment loop number four where those two arrows are is the clever bit this is now going out to the input of my amp and then the effects send is coming back into this loop then the chorus the hoff reverb the tc delay and the volume toggle and now my amps effects loop and then at the end I go out of the octa switch and into my amps effects return. So effectively I've got before the amp pedals and effects loop pedals and then you set up patches with combinations of them. So I shall demonstrate a few sounds. So this is a Marshall with just the reverb selected. <laughs> Turn it up a tiny bit. And you'll hear the difference when I select Marshall plus the chorus. I've turned the chorus up quite high to kind of exaggerate it, but this is now, and I forgot to mention, the thing that's great, if you label your pedals like I have, the lights come on and show you precisely what you've selected for each patch. And the little switches above each foot switch are numbered to match the loops on the rear of the unit. And you can easily see, so you watch the lights, when you select a patch, you can see precisely what is in it so this sound here is nothing in front of the amp apart from the guitar and you have chorus reverb and my volume toggle the volume toggle is just there for when the volume toggle is selected it's lowering the volume of my amp for rhythm if it's not selected it's solo boost basically so anyway this is Marshall plus chorus. Then the clever bit it also does, if you watch the red light come on in the top left, it will also change your amp channels for you. So you go from a dirty sound to a clean channel. So I really love that, the fact that you can do channel switching. So on this particular patch I've got chorus, reverb, delay and my volume toggle. Fairly over the top but this is just playing around. So clean sound. Make it a bit louder. could go clean to dirty just one button right so I also have my tube screamer just tube screamer and reverb this one here is dirty amp with chorus delay so <laughs> camera droop there right we also have so this sounds here cheap screamer and amp we have cheap screamer and amp with the volume toggle taken out so it's a solo boost so you go right 
Right, and then I have a simple patch which is just fuzz face. <laughs> left we have a louder version of the dry amp with a bit of reverb <laughs> and that's pretty much it the only thing if you're using the effects loop of your amp as well as going in the input is if you hit this bypass button it's not good because effectively it turns everything off so took me a while to work that out but it will depend on how you use it whether you use it all in front of the amp or like I've done combination but it's a really good unit and I think that is everything let's rock